we're back. We're back. Sorry about that. We're back. Uh, hopefully none of you's actually deleted the old uh, Kahoot and you still, you're still in Kahoot because that's still all live. That's still all good to go. There is your pin. Uh, even and all again. There's our pin. Get it sorted. Let's get it going. Let's get started. Thank you, Danielle. Yes, feeling much better. Uh, Bethy's still want a tour of the room. Uh, I'll do it quickly, right? I'll do it quickly. I knew the audio was going to go. Dodgy cable here. Right, so let's have a look and see. Can we do it? There's all the Lego. There's, there's a big handsome light. There's a big telly. Eh... Uh, there's us back here, there's a wall, and there's, there's a window. That's it. That's it. It's like through the keyhole. Through the keyhole stuff. Uh, oh, it sounds like I've got a visitor. Hopefully it's a little one. Oh no, it's this, the medium one. <laughs> it's not the one I was expecting. It's this one. What are you up to? Why are you up? Need to cuddle. Why are you up? Mm. Hey, why are you up? <laughs> you seen mm. the toys under your desk? <laughs> You've seen all the toys here. Like, why are you up? Stop picking your nose, Jesus! Every time you're on film. Need to cuddle. Right, give me a cuddle then. <laughs> why did do not do this? Come yeah, from. where did all those toys come from? <laughs> right, come on. These are these are daddies. These are these are daddies. Which one's that? Uh, alien. Alien, yes. Woody. Yep, Woody. Right, get to all your these bed. People are saying night night. Right, good night. <laughs> night night. <clears throat> uh, right, sorry. Let's. Uh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> He's still shouting. Was that a toy buzz? Uh, it wasn't Che Guevara on the wall. That was uh, three prints by the artist Shepard Ferry. Uh, right, let's see what I, I missed. Jenny did not tidy the room. That's the first time Jenny's even seen this room since I tidied it up. Um, thank you, Matt, saying I'm looking so much better. I've always looked this good. Uh, Rona, I don't know what job I'm stealing. Did you? Do you do Through the Keyhole or MTV Cribs? Don't know. Uh, the record on the wall, Fraser, is the Silver Disc for Ton Atlantic Free album. Uh, yes, Lego Tower Bridge is over there, and then the rest of the Lego that's in boxes there. There's more Lego behind me on a shelf, but you just never saw that. <clears throat> yeah, that was Travis, by the way. There's a few people asking. Uh, but yes, we'll get started in a couple of minutes' time. Um, as I say, we've got 30 questions tonight. 30. Back with a bang. Uh, 90s knowledge. Then we've got a picture round of stuff, just stuff that you see in the 90s. Uh, then we've got Name That Year, then TV and film, music, and 90s logo. So everything 90s. I wish it was still in the 90s. Uh, somebody else asking what, what toys was it? It was um it was all it was like the Toy Story, the Toy Story 4 collection of all of them. <clears throat> Pilot Piper's shouting as well. Stevie, yes, that's a big one. Thirty questions. Uh, Tracy, you should be back on YouTube. Is it just is it stuck on that that initial the the opening screen or something again? Does my nothing when it happens. Um, but we we did have to restart the stream, so uh, you maybe need to go. You maybe need to go hunt for us. Amy Barclay, hello, welcome. Although I do have a bone to pick with you, because you posted the Social Bite brownies in the Staying In community page. I want to buy them so badly, they look amazing. But I just don't think I could taste them. I still think I'll just need to buy them anyway. Yeah, I'm going to buy them. Go buy them. Yeah, YouTube Take Two is fine. So, I mean, we, uh, there's no point in me even saying it, because we, like, it's Take Two. We're on Take Two. Um... Like if you're not watching this, if you're watching this stream, then I'm saying take two, then you're on the right page. You're on the right page. 
the box of nine. That's what I want, Amy. Ah, oh, Amy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, so for MD that's one of them, what on earth are we talking about? Um, Amy, Amy Barkley posted on the, the staying in community community earlier about um, the social bite, which is a homeless charity, which we actually we donated five hundred pounds to them um, just before Christmas, um, and they do a thing called uh, post box brownies, uh, and it's a box of ethically made, uh, handmade brownies, and I'm pretty sure for everyone, for everyone, for every box, it look how good those look. For every box that you buy, uh, I'm pretty sure they give. Yeah, thank you for contributing to the mission of ending homelessness with your purchase today. Yeah, I'm just going to buy them. So, everybody go buy them. Um, tell me how much better they taste when you can actually taste stuff. Oh, do you know the greatest thing, the greatest invention of the last 10 years? Autofill. Like, just when, when your phone just knows... When, when your phone just says, do you want me to just autofill all this? And you're like, aye, do it. And you don't need to do anything. You don't need to sit and fill in. So like, oh, no, I need to remember my card details, though. Ach, I'll do that later on. Right, uh, hello to Ruth and Rachel that are playing. Is that Ruth and Rachel that I used to go to school with? Because they were sisters, Ruth and Rachel. Right, I need a 90s prize, okay? So, um, oh wait, it's Vicky Glenn's birthday today. I threw away loads of birthday hats. I'm going to go over there and find a birthday hat. Vicky, Vicky has, has been one of our regulars for quite some time, so I'm going to need to go and find a birthday hat. Give me a second. Vicky, I hope you appreciate the fact that I just had to take this birthday hat out of the bin. It's only a paper bin, it's okay. I mean it's not like it's not like a bin. It's not like I went outside. Um But happy birthday to Vicky. Uh, she's only 44. 44 today. Well done for making it, Vicky. See, I looked at Tamagotchis, a few people were saying Tamagotchis, I looked at them, I just think they're a bit shite though, would you actually use it? It's not that funny. A birthday hat for Tanya's husband Chris, another happy birthday today. Um, Sarah Todd's, no, it's your, it's your birthday the last time, I mean, you go. CD what? Kelly Adams, welcome along, first time player. Uh, make sure you follow these instructions and you're ready, don't put answers in the comments. Trolls, a good shout, Emma Kikette. Troll was a great shout. Um, will we just, will we just go? Will we go with the retro sweets? I think we'll go with the retro sweets. We'll go with a box of retro sweets, quality nineties sweets. I looked at a Furby. Furbies are expensive, man. Those were expensive. Uh, right. So retro sweets, box of retro sweets to a winner. One of our, one of our random winners that we will pick at random. Bop it is good. I do like Bop it. Brian Gallagher, I think you might have won it there, but I think Bop it is. Right, tell you what, we'll let, we'll let the we'll let the random winner choose Bop it or um sweets. They can they can choose which one they want. They can choose whichever one. Bop it's class, though. Bop's a good a good shout. In fact, no, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I'm flipping it on its head. The winner is going to get the box the box of brownies from Social Bite. Not only are we giving somebody a top quality prize, but we're doing a wee bit for charity as well. We're doing a wee bit for charity as well. I think that's only, that's only right. We were talking about it. Let's do it. We're just a, a great quality box of brownies. Nobody's going to complain about getting a lovely box of chocolate brownies delivered straight through the letterbox. Does it matter if it's not 90s? In fact, you know what? I'm going to do that as a prize for every quiz this week. That's, that's our prize for every quiz this week. Uh, we'll make sure that we... We do the, the social bite brownies. <laughs> Amy Bartley, hashtag influencer. Yeah, but it will be at random, so cheat all you want in the quiz. Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything. Uh, right, let's get started then. Let's get going with tonight's quiz. Why is my mouse not working? Let's get started then with tonight's quiz. 
Oh, thanks. Good to know, Jerry. That uh, is it your daughter. Yeah, your daughter got her Mister Frosty. That's good. Right, question number one: Which chocolate bar released in 1996 had peanuts, raisins, crisp cereal, and fudge suspended in chocolate? So, which chocolate bar released in 1996 had peanuts, raisins, crisp cereal, and fudge suspended in chocolate? Spira, Fuse, Secret, or Five Four Three Two One? So it says, question number one of 30 in your quiz tonight. Which chocolate bar released in 1996 had peanuts, raisins, crisp cereal and fudge suspended in chocolate? Spira, views, secret or 54321 if you have not played before. These colours will be appearing on your phone if you have signed in to Kahoot with that pin. Just got to press the right one. It's dead easy. Uh, most of the questions are multiple choice tonight, but uh, the pi two picture rounds that we've got, the two picture rounds... I'll type their own. So it says question number one. Are these all real chocolate? How dare you, Betty? How dare you? It was, of course, a fuse. A fuse. Uh, there's Amy Bartley's just dropped the wee link in there straight for the brownies into the comments if anybody's watching on Facebook wants to have a look. Uh, well done if you got a few. Most of getting that one right. Let's see your scores after question number one. The Dunlop Dynamo's in first place. Macho Nacho's in second. Mike Coxmall in third. Cable Sheep in fourth. And Goasis in fifth. Uh, almost 500 teams in tonight. Almost 500 teams. Next question. Question number two. What was the name of the sex worker Hugh Grant was caught with in 1995? What was the name of the sex worker that Hugh Grant was caught with in 1995? Nicole Simpson, Jordan Chandler, Divine Brown or Lorena Bobbitt? <coughs> See, Amanda Coy, you're talking there about the secret bar in the comments. I genuinely believe I loved secret bars like the way it bog the net chocolate was like a bird's nest and it kind of crumbled and broke in your mouth but I do think we've maybe romanticised that a wee bit I bet you if we were to go back and taste a secret bar you'd be like that's pretty shite Zara Adidas I don't know how you say your name because it's just a YouTube username please don't put answers in the comments So question number two, what was the name of the sex worker Hugh Grant was caught with in 1995? Correct answer, it was Divine Brown, it was Divine Brown. Uh, you might recognise all the names though, Nicole Simpson was OJ Simpson's wife, Jordan Chandler was the young guy that uh, tried to sue Michael Jackson for touching him. Uh, and Lorena Bobbitt was a woman who chopped off her husband's penis. There you go. Um, let's, there's our scores. Whoever send me DMs, I'm not reading them now. Dunlop Dynamo still at the top. Goasis moving up in his second. Roasted Cheese in at the top five as well. Deborah Rhodes, Rona symptoms are fine. I still can't taste anything though. It's pretty crap. Question three. What was the name of the board game overseen by the gatekeeper? What was the name of the board game overseen by the gatekeeper? Atmosphere, Jumanji, Nightmare or Dead End Drive? Sarah Todd, yes. Lorena Bobbitt uh, chopped her husband's penis clean off. I mean, he did some pretty awful stuff to her. Um, but when he was sleeping, she just went chop, chop, chop. Winky right off. There's Nanda Lopin sauntering in late as usual. So we're on question three. What was the name of the board game overseen by the gatekeeper? This is just your random 90s knowledge round. Was atmosphere. 
atmosphere was your correct answer. Lottie's getting sucked in a bit of nightmare, which was the TV show. The TV show. Let's see your scores. Mike Cox small in first place. Giza Swedge up to second. Ferry and easy up to third. One t shirt in fourth. And Puzzled Llamas up to fifth. These are new arrows that the old cahoots put in. I'm liking it. Next question, question four. Who lit the Olympic flame at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics? Who lit the Olympic flame at the 96 Atlanta Olympics? Muhammad Ali, Magic Johnson, Pele, or Carol Lewis? I always remember a joke around the, the time of that Bobbit scandal when it was 93, so I must have just been in high school. And the punchline was that she was driving along the motorway and she threw it out the window and I had the windscreen behind it and the punchline was something like, is the size of the willy on that midgey? I can't remember the rest of the joke though, but it sounds like it'd be funny. El Diablo, Ugh, I'm just going to ban you. Don't pick answers in the comments. Ne Nunos Ansros in the comentos. Tell you what, I've put you in a timeout, El Diablo. You get five minutes. You're on the old timeout. You can't comment for five minutes. Uh, if you comment the answers again, pop to no one allowed ever to play again. So the correct answer there was Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Let's see those scores. Another new leader, Goasis, now up to the top. Question five, last one in this round. Which of these are not the names of a Pokemon? Which are names are not which of these are not names of a Pokemon? Pidgey, Charamander, Squirtle, or Butterfoot? So which of these are not the names of Pokemon? Pidgey, Charamander, Squirtle, or Butterfoot? I'm waiting on some loser telling me I've spelled one of them wrong. Two aren't. I use it does, uh, yeah, somebody's in there somebody's in there two aren't actually two aren't because you've spelt you've spelt one wrong virgin right that's somebody else getting put in a wee time out Lauren Henderson still plays Pokemon Go and she's a VL the two go hand in hand Correct answer is Butterful, because it's Butter something else. It's Butter something else. And I, I'm going to guess, I think Charamander, I think I spelt Charamander wrong, and people are like getting their wee fucking Pokemon cards in a twist. That's technically not one of them. That's, that's not a Pokemon. Losers. Losers. Let's see your scores. One t shirt now in the first place. Right, we're going to move on now with our picture round. Our picture round. Name the brand you'd associate with this image. You need to type the answer in. Ah, there we go, some losers. It's Charamander, actually. Fucking. You must be fun at parties. Catch the Pokemon. Name the brand you would associate with that image. Tasty Tacos, you're saying, is this Kahoot? I, I, I mean, yes, we're using Kahoot. So name the brand you would associate with that. I can't believe I'm having to block more people on YouTube. Yeah, over 600 teams actually, over 600. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have this technically wrong and I'm going to get annihilated by women in their 30s.
because I've, I've got a funny, is it, was it bang on the door? Is anybody going to have wrote? No, it's fine. Oh no, somebody did write bang on the door. Damn it. Groovy chick was the answer I was looking for, though. Groovy chick was the answer I was looking for. But bang on the door, I had a feeling that that might actually be the brand. See if it is, and if, if somebody's going to argue with it, don't bother arguing. Just give yourself 5,000 points, right? Just if that makes you feel better. If that makes you feel better. Uh, let's see your scores. Top two has not changed. Gila Swift up to third, though. Next question. Question seven. Name the brand who made this item of clothing. Name the brand that made this item of clothing. Easy one. Easy. Easy one. Michael Count, Monty Fox, it's been nearly a year. How do you still put answers in the comments? Technically, we didn't stop, we didn't start not putting answers in the comments until May. Right, I can't believe I'm still having to ban people on uh, YouTube. Like, that is the fourth one in, like, the past couple of questions. Don't put a bloody answer in the comments. Psst, psst. Lynn Campbell, you had a different spelling of this. I think you'd fake. You'd fakies. Laura Thomason, Mindy's and the Adidas button ups. Aye, but the Kappa ones were better because they came right off. So when you were at the, the Lagoon in Paisley, you'd go by all the wee lassies. Boof! Boof! Right off. I remember my, my gran, um, like, before she passed away, she, she gave us all money. Like, she's like, oh, no, I just want to see you enjoy it. Um, and she she gave she gave me 1,500 quid. And I was like 15. And I bought two belters of these tracksuits. Two screamers, ones that nobody else had. Just, just cause. Did I say, did I say, did I say already? Oh, I did, I said Kappa, didn't I? Eh. Uh, who put Kappas or Caps? Kappa. Kappa was the answer. Sorry if I gave the answers in the comments. So, <laughs> sorry. I get excited talking about Bami and Ed stuff. Hey, let's see your scores. Everybody getting that one right. I'm a fairy moving up into the fifth place as well. Next question, question number eight. What was the name of this shop? What was the name of this shop? <coughs> I'll put myself in a five minute timeout. Somebody's asking what you've done. What did we last year? Are you talking about when I was a wee guy and you'd do, do the poppers or the trousers? Aye, I was a wee guy though. Lynn Campbell and Dale called them crappa trackies because you were cutting about posh, wee posh villages with Sergio Tashini and other sort of weird tennis gear. But anyway, what was the name of that shop? Obviously, I've removed most of the, the logo from it. Oh, Lynn Campbell, that was, you were a goth. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense now. Oh, Dale grew up in Castle Oh, it was another reason you didn't have Kappa trackies in. But anyway, what was the name of that shop? Extra points if you can tell me what high street that one's from, what that photograph's from. Louisa Rossi, of course I have those socks off my trackies. I was like a king bam. Pat right up here. Haley Hansen, socks over the trackies. The slouch socks. Uh, that was Tammy Girl. I also gave you if you put Tammy, even though I technically shouldn't have, but it was Tammy Girl. It wasn't the Paisley High Street, and you would suck or something with that. I don't actually know where it's from. Uh, let's see your scores. One t shirt still at the top. Next question. 
What brand will these shoes? What brand will these shoes? <clears throat> Did I white Lacoste trainers? Nah, quality Air Max. Lacoste, Lacoste one there for Neds. Emma Garnledge, uh, was it part of Dorothy Perkins? I can't remember, was, was Tammy Girl, was that not in ETAM? I had Laura Thomason spotting me the North Face. I used to always go to the North Face sales every year. Still got all my North Faces. And what was the brand of those shoes? Gary, these are mine. I took a photo of them earlier. <clears throat> these were... Dale Gibb, what are you talking about? You must have lived in a, a full scheme if you don't think these were class. It was, either, it was these are Timberlands or Rockport boots Rockport boots for a while actually correct answer it was Kickers Kickers was the correct answer you would have got that if you had put the um, apostrophe in there as well so don't worry about that let's see your scores no change at the top five next question last one in this picture round where would you have bought this item of clothing where would you have bought this item of clothing? Deborah Leach, we did a fucking 80s week. Away you go. Why have we got so many wallopers on tonight? What is it? Is there something in the air? I they were lassies, kickers. You only meant to really wear them. Why? Have, well, honestly, why have we got so many wallopers in? What's going on? We've got like pure random people on the stream. <clears throat> I remember that I had one of these jumpers, just the navy blue one with the gold writing, and. I bought it in a size too small because it meant I could still buy a kid's one and it was all, because my mum wouldn't buy it for me, I had to buy it myself for my own money. So I, I bought I bought like a kid's one, like a pure, like an extra large kid's, just so it was cheaper. Correct answer to that one. Of course, it was the sweater shop. The sweater shop. Uh, aye, Thomas Bruce, yep, one just as you went into the Paisley Centre. Um, and it then became... Inf but Thomas, I'll ask you this question. Which sports shop was next door to the sweater shop? Let's see if you can remember that one. Not many people do. Not many people do. So, aye, the sweater shop was your correct answer there. Let's see your scores. No change at all in the top five. Oh, that's my mum coming in there. So when did you ever pay for your own clothes? Look, I bought that jumper myself. I did. Because I remember going in. Or maybe, maybe actually, maybe I'm remembering it incorrectly. Maybe you gave me the money to buy it. And I was like, if I buy a kid's one, I'll have extra money. Uh, Louise Muir got it right. With it. it wasn't Intersport that was beside the sweater shop. It was Sports Connection. It was Sports Connection. Jenny Mack, how did you get that wrong? Sports connection right beside the sweater shop. Um, uh, anyway, let's. Uh, did we do those scores? No real change, right? Now we're going to name that year. So basically, what's going to happen here is I'm going to give you three things that happened in a year, and you just got to tell me what year they happened in. 
Laura Tomlinson worked in Sports Connection. How old are you? Question 11. UK and French workers meet up underneath the English Channel. Hubble is launched and Nelson Mandela is released from prison. So was it 90, 91, 92 or 93? So UK and French workers meet up underneath the English, English Channel when they were digging the Channel Tunnel. Uh, Hubble is launched and Mandela is released from prison. What year? Our price, yes, I remember. Our, here, do, do me a favour, actually, and, and I know I've just said our price, but um, don't mention too many brands because there's still a logo round to come at the end. Don't mention too many shops. Thankfully, I didn't put our price in. Because I don't think I did, because I nearly did. But um, stop mentioning shops and that. But as a whole round of this, I'm going to tell you three things. You just got to guess what year it happened in. Oh, right, I spelt Hubble wrong. Why is that everybody's... Everybody's a smart ass. Teaching your five-year-olds at home and you're all smart ass all of a sudden. Uh, correct answer was 1990. 1990. Let's see our scores. One t-shirt in first place. Next question, question number 12. The Queen describes her anus horribilis. The Olympics are held in Barcelona and the Premier League is launched. So what year did that happen in? Right, honestly, what is it? Like, there's something called Baby Carrot on YouTube now. They just put hi and then hello question mark. Like, I'm just blocking you. Does this look like a... Does this look like Chatterlet to you? The Queen describes... Describes... Her anus horribilis. The Olympics are held in Barcelona and the Premier League is launched in England. What year? 91, 92, 93 or 94? There's another one just being like, hello. Fuck oh, I don't give a... Stop saying hello. We've done that. We've been here for ages. So name the year. Correct answer was 1992. 92. Let's see our scores. Amy moving up into third place, sorted for reason quiz into fifth. Question 13. Iraq evades Kuwait. OJ Simpson stands trial and the World Cup is held in the USA. 92, 93, 94, or 95? Oh, people just... Oh, I remember when you get paid this much. I think my first, my first job was, well, was my paper round. And I get paid £2 a day. There is, David Stone, there is definitely lots of people who are not from Scotland tuning in to this and being like, what is this? It's a quiz! Here you go. The Petty family joining us on YouTube, new here, welcome. If you want to play, don't put answers in the comments, otherwise I'll need to hunt your family down. But if you do want to play, um, open up another device like your phone, go to kahoot.it and put that pin number in. Tyler will go, I'm on their way and Patton Oswald to the Scottish kid. I'm sure that's funny somewhere, Tyler. No here, though. Uh, let's see. Most of he's getting that one right. It was 94. Let's see our scores. Let's see our next question. Question number 14. DVDs are launched, Bearings Bank collapses, and Michael Fole becomes the first Brit to walk in space. So DVDs are launched, Bearings Bank collapses, and Michael Fole becomes the first Brit to walk in space. 94, 95, 96, or 97. Let's 
Andrew, do you remember the foreign film company that filmed you delivering papers? Aye! They, and that was Dutch, it was Dutch TV, and they came round and filmed me. Like, uh, it was like for part-time jobs, it was like one of those videos you would watch in like German or French about German or French kids doing like pure mundane tasks, but Dutch TV came to film me doing the mundane task and he came to deliver me doing my papers. And the TV crew that they had with me, they, they took me around my paper round in a black hackney. I remember it being like a hundred quid or something like that, which when I was like 12 was like a million pound. The DVDs are launched, Bering Banks collapses and Michael Fole becomes the first Brit to walk in space. Um, was it Brian Gallagher, OJ was 95, no it wasn't, it was 94. I don't know, I mean, you can argue if you want, I will just, just go Google it. Right now, just go Google it, it's 94. It was acquitted in June, June 94, because it was all around the same time as the World Cup. Uh, the correct answer to that one was 95, 1995, well done if you get that one right. Uh, this, this round's hurting people though, this round is hurting people. Let's see those scores. One t-shirt, eventually stopping Google and stuff. Vegas moving into first place. I should have actually said that, and, and I realised somebody said DVDs were launched in 1987. It was actually the DVD format, maybe not DVD movies, but the DVD storage format was actually launched, launched then, so... Nah, we got a Next question. And anyway, you should know by now. Don't argue with me. Don't argue with me. Did I convey in 1990? That was, that was the answer. Next question. Why are folk arguing with me? A ways go. The Euros launch SpongeBob premieres on TV and Bill Gates becomes the world's richest man. 96, 97, 98 or 99. So the Euros launched Spongebob premieres on TV, Bill Gates becomes the world's richest man. Carly, luckily we got it right, but yet you're still, you're still being a pedantic asshole about it! I'm going to guess you are girls of, or gals of NDFC. It'd be a shame if I just kicked these out of the next. Just because I can do that. I mean, like, if he's appear on there, I just be like, boop. It'd be a shame if that happened. It'd be a shame if my finger slipped on the mouse when you are next on the podium. That'd be a real shame, Carly. That would be a shame if that happened. That won't happen, though, will it? Or will it? Who knows? It's first goes back in ages. Fucking shot the lotties. Next round coming up is TV and film. It's the last one in your name that year round. Great answer was 1999. Anything getting to say about that? No doubt he's due. No doubt he's due. Let's see your scores. One t shirt back to their old shooting ways. Cheating ways. Next question, question 16. TV and film. In which TV show did Zoe Ball and Jamie Theakston once present? Which TV show did Zoe Ball and Jamie Theakston once present? Going live, CD UK, live and kicking her SMTV. So what TV show did Zoe Ball and Jamie Theakston present? So it's your TV and film round. I'm pretty sure it's three TV questions and two films. Then we've got our 90s music round and then finishing on 90s logos. Tiny, ah, it's logos, ah, logos. Pauline, you're so old, you remember like radio on Saturday mornings. Correct answer was live and kicking. Most of these getting that one right. Well done. Let's see your scores. Nobody really cares who's in the top five. Let's be honest. Because you don't win anything. You don't win anything. That'll be, it'll be random. The prize is going to the randomness. 
you know, winning for being in first place. These are only cheating yourselves. Next question. Question 17. What was the name of the killer in the Scream films? What was the name of the killer in the Scream films? Ghostface, Scream Mask, Telephone Killer or Gemini? Pauline Daisley, I actually remember waiting to the on the TV to start at 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning. What? Did didn't start till 10? How old are you? Did you need to put 50p in it? My first TV was a wee black and white one, and it had like wee dials on, like five wee dials, so you could tune each channel in. But what was the name of the killer in the Scream films? Correct answer was, of course, Ghostface. I don't know if you that one right. Let's see our scores. Doesn't matter really, does it? Next question. Question 18. Which TV show investigated the murder of homecoming queen Laura Palmer? Which TV show investigated the murder of homecoming queen Laura Palmer? Law and Order, Silent Witness, Prime Suspect or Twin Peaks? Diane, I am 39. I'm 40 this year. That's terrifying. It's the first time I've said that out loud. It's the first time I've said that I'm 40 this year out loud. That was a sinking feeling in my stomach right there. Forty this year. I'm sitting here. We Toy Story toys at my knees. Talking to 665 strangers on the internet. Doing a quiz about the 90s. Where did the doll go wrong? When that cunt ate a bat, that's where it went wrong. Which TV show investigated the mother of homecoming queen Laura Palmer? It was Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks, well done if you get that one right. Most of these did. Let's see your scores. Disney Bar, does it? Oh, wait, wait, what, happens, what happens if you do that? What happens if you do that there? You just you see a wee line that comes right across. It goes right through the name. Imagine I just pressed that. Imagine my fingers just slipped and just pressed that. Next question. Question 19. For which 90s film did Spielberg win his first Oscar? For which 90s film did Spielberg win his first Oscar? Jurassic Park, Schindler's List, Saving Private Ryan or Hook? There's only four films in the 90s. Uh, somebody asked a question. Where's my birthday? It's in September. It's in September. <clears throat> no, Amanda, I did not think I would still be here last March when I started this. I think I'd have been there in April. Never mind next January. Yet, here we are. Loving life. Don't like it when people tag me on Instagram whilst this is going on. Janine, I'm not telling you where my birthday is. You just send me. You send me more of those dirty pictures. Question 19. For which 90s film did Spielberg win his first Oscar? Jacqueline says, hopefully about this craziness we can have a party. You think I'm inviting any of you to my party? No chance. Anyway, Schindler's List was the correct answer. Well done for you that one, right? Most of these obviously looked it up. Let's see how it goes. Nanty Kills. Makes zero difference. Next question. Question 20. Last one in your movie and TV round. What was the name of Martin Crane's dog in Fraser? What was the name of Martin Crane's dog in Fraser? Eddie, Danny, Nicky or Marty? Hi, <laughs> they're all trying to guess my, my passwords, innit? Uh, what year were you born? Nan, Nan, what was your maiden name? 
I am a Virgo. Whoever asked, somebody asked that. The last thing I want is the Nandanot fan club to throw me a party. That'd be the worst party ever. <clears throat> what was the name of Martin? Crane's dog in Fraser. Eddie, Danny, Nicky or Marty? So was Eddie, of course. Well done if you get that one right. Let's see your scores. Next question. Question 21. What was the first Spice Girls single released after the departure of Jerry? What was the first Spice Girls single released after the departure of Jerry? Amy, I don't know what the plan for the first birthday party is. But whilst, whilst we're here, just because... That's like, my wee... My wee, my wee Spice Girls top. It wasn't even meant, I just knew it was down there. Just knew it was in, in that wee drawer at my feet. I don't even know, I can't even remember when the first birthday is. Is it the 17th of March? I think it might be the 17th. But what was the first Spice Girls single? released after the departure departure of Jenny. Fraser, I think I've got about eight of those Spice Girls crew t-shirts somewhere. What's she get for it? <clears throat> Correct answer is Viva Forever. Viva Forever, well done if you looked that up on Google uh, just to get that answer so that you could get more points than if you just guessed like any normal person. Um, let's let's see how many points that gained you and how much it makes you feel better about yourself. Next question, question 22. Which 90s hit did VH1 vote as the best one hit wonder of all time? Tracy, nobody cares about your drinking games. Stop trying to up with a drinking game for everything. Just admit you've got a problem. Which 90s hit did VH1 vote as the best one-hit wonder of all time? Saturday night. Mbop, Mambo number five on Macarena. So this is question 22. After this, we've got five 90s logos to finish us off. And then some random person is going to win Hings. Brownies. Brownies from Social Bite. Macho Natural, surely that is not. Uh, surely that is not the first time you've been on the podium. I'm sure I've seen you up there before. Hey, Macarena. Well done if you've got that one right. Let's see your scores. Gals of NDFC, let's just, let's just, boof! Take them right off of there. Let's see your scores. No, I've done that. Let's see the next question. Question 23. The lead guitarist of which band went missing in the 90s and has never been seen since? Stereophonic, Smashing Pumpkins, Manic Street Preachers, or the Charlatans. Yeah, I did the Hanson gig. I was going to say last year, but it was clearly the year before that. Uh, the Royal Concert Hall. Um, they did a thing with the, the orchestra. It was class. It was really, really, really good. But lead guitarist of which band went missing in the 90s and has never been seen since. Stereophonics, Smashing Pumpkins, Manic Street Preachers, or the Charlatans.
uh, there are, I, I usually like I'll test Jenny on the quiz questions uh, for it, and she'd never heard of this. And it's weird because I remember when I first heard of it, it was probably like 10, 12 years after this actually happened. And I think it's one of those mad stories that not everybody knows about. Uh, so if you don't know about it, go and read up on Richie Edwards from Manic Street Preachers. Such a mad story. Mad, mad story. Uh, but well done if you got that one right. It was Manic Street Preachers. Let's see your scores. Let's see our next question. Question 24. Who played the biggest concert of the 90s? So, biggest single concert of the 90s. Who played it? Take that. Oasis, Robbie Williams or the Spice Girls? <clears throat> See, Nicole, Nicole had never heard of it either. I mean, yeah, like, go go look into it. It's such a mad, mad story. And the fact that they've never heard about him since is just even weirder. I bet he was, they were preparing to go on a promotional tour of America. Um, and for, like, the two weeks before it, he took £200 out of his bank every day and then just disappeared. But he, there was mad sightings of him for a few weeks. who played the biggest concert of the 90s. <clears throat> Mark, don't put answers in the comments. Knobworth. Correct answer was Oasis. It was Oasis, well done if you got that one right. That was at Knobworth, they did two dates. Uh, but as I say, I was only looking for the one. 125,000 people a day. Uh, Robbie Williams, and I know, just because I know some assholes going to come in uh, and say, but this Robbie Williams also did three dates at Nebworth. Uh, so he did more people at Nebworth, but it was in 2003, so it didn't count. Let's see your scores. Nobody cares. Question 25, last one in your music round. When was Radiohead's debut single, Creep, released? When was Radiohead's debut single, Creep, released? 92, 93, 94, 95. <coughs> Nicole, you should, you should just get the kids involved in this. This should be homeschooling. I should do that. I should be a teacher. Do, like, pop quizzes for the Waynes during the day. Uh, shout out to Captain Justice, who forgot about the quiz and stood his missus up. Or just Mr. Justice, as he'll be known from now on. Just lost his captaincy. So last one in your music round, five left. Your logo's round to come after this. Maureen Dines, we did do a we we did a school quiz, a back to school quiz once. It was good. I actually enjoyed it. Uh, correct answer was 1992. Uh, most people went with 93, which makes me wonder if I put the wrong answer. But hey, what are you gonna do about it? Let's see your scores. One T-shirt back up to first place. Uh, Betty Boo said probably a press stunt. I don't know if you're still talking about Richie Edwards. That's a hell of a press stunt. It's 25 years the guy's been missing. That's commitment. That's commitment to a press stunt. Uh, they do still pay 25% of the royalties in his bank account, though. It's kind of mad. Uh, right, last round then coming up. It is a logos round. Um, just some random logos from the 90s. you just got to name them. So name the shop logo you would have seen during the 90s. Name this shop logo you would have seen during the 90s. Type that answer in. <coughs> So, what's that shop logo? Obviously, I've removed some of the letters. It's not just called... Ruff. Nick Dixon, I did a kids lockdown. I've did hundreds of kids lockdown quizzes. I'm not stealing the idea of Jason Manford. 
I need to steal fucking ideas off Jason Manford. I'd be hanging my mic up. Jesus. Well, apparently 92 was right for that creep song. <laughs> Take that. <clears throat> Would you mean you did more a school one? I mean, was called the back to school quiz. It rounds and everything. Like geography and history and all that. It was class. Hey, uh, bye. Name this. What was that shop? What was the shop called? I tried to find um, Food Giant logo, but I couldn't find the Food Giant logo anywhere. Got it. That wasn't superfood. It wasn't Summerfields. Summerfield. Summerfield is the answer. Well done. Let's see your scores. They change. Nobody cares. Question 27. Name this shop logo. Name this shop logo. It's an easy one. Right, okay, we'll, we'll do another back to school quiz. Well, I'm saying we'll do another back to school quiz. Hopefully, Jenny's. Or she will not be watching because she's watching the rest of that. Fucking Bridgerton or something, that porno on Netflix. Jay, Jay tries his best to rob stuff off of us, but then everybody remembers that he doesn't have a personality and it just is shite, but somehow tens of thousands of people still watch it. Or these English folk with no fucking idea what real entertainment is. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, I did I ask, who, when did I ask what shops you used to shop in? Jenny's got to write the back to school quiz once she's finished watching Bridgerton. I'm not watching it. Looks like a lot of shite. <clears throat> There's no another Dunlop baby coming anytime. But name the shop logo you would have seen during the 90s. It's an easy one, it's a gimme. Should have made this one first. <clears throat> Correct answer. Who's, who's spelling Comet with an I? Who's spelling Comet with an I? Comet! Oh, but, uh, yeah, I was asking about Azad's video. That was right, Janine. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't about this. This was just totally random. Let's see your scores. Need the cares. Question 28. Name this shop logo. Name this shop logo. So, I mean, I, I do apologise, uh, Rachel, saying it's not easy when you're in Aussie. I apologise if you're not from around here. And I don't mean Darvel. Um, that if you're not... If, th these will be tough if you're not from these parts. Uh, Matt Scarface, you didn't get Summerfield right because you spelt it wrong. You've even spelt it wrong when you're complaining to me, so that's probably why you got it wrong. <clears throat> but what is that logo from? Hey, Annie, sorry, I just saw your comment asking if I see the comments from our platforms. Yes, I see the comments from Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook all at once. So, yes. Oh, Lynn Cullen's shouting for an undo. There is no undo. No undo in our game. Jenny didn't know this one, so that I, I am led to believe this might be a Scottish only one. How many people have put I'm not how many people have put juicins? I'm gonna guess loads of these have put juicins. <clears throat> 
Jenny's finished Bridget in the comments. In the comments. Jenny, just so you know, you might have finished Bridget, but you now need to write another back to school quiz. It wasn't Jessup's either. It was John Menzies. John Menzies. Or John Mingus. John Mingus, for those of you that are want me to be real about this. Let's see your scores. Nobody cares. Question 29. Name this shop logo that you'd have seen during the 90s. Now this, this is, I think a lot of people make this one wrong. Yeah, sorry Kelly Adams if you're in England. Jepsons, somebody put for that one. That's somebody who's confused quite a few different shops. And just hope for the best. So, that shop logo. Sarah Summers, you've written I don't know, I'm only 13 a few times. Time for your bed. <coughs> Jenny, I've still got the COVID as well. Uh, so, just get right in the quiz. And technically, it would be homeschooling. It would be homeschooling because it is for all the kids. We should. I will do a primary. We'll do a primary school version and a secondary school version. Thank you, Kelly Adams. What do you mean best quiz you've played for a while? I think you mean ever. You better watch this. Maybe your first and only quiz. <clears throat> This is a tough one. This is a, a real tough one, this one. It's one of those, and like, see if I, sh once you see the whole logo, you're like, ah, oh, I mind it now. Uh, so this, this is a weird one. Um, there's a shop called Athena, and it always sold pure random art, and like, crap lights, and stuff like that. You would definitely go Google Athena once you see the, you might not, you see the logo and you're like, I don't know. And then you see a, a photo of the shop front, you'll be like, oh, aye, aye. Pure crap shop. Like, aye, it's like a pure poster shop. Weird, weird shop. Hey, bless your scores. Nobody cares. Last question, here we go. Name this shop logo. Name this shop logo. It's a belter. Annie Paul loved Athena. And for the Paisley people who are there, that was the one that as you went in the Paisley Centre, the McDonald's entrance, it was like big glass front that kind of went at an angle. I'm sure that was Athena. <laughs> Louise Muir, see, that is, that's exactly how I described it. Only got Athena when her husband said, is that not that mad poster shop? It's an odd good one though, and there's a few different options that you can put for this. Only this, you still get pound stretcher, although I heard they're in administration. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, David, David, you're right, sorry. What was that one then? What was the one I was talking about? The one that was on the angle as you went in? That was a similar kind of shop, I'm sure. Was that a lighting shop? Paisley Centre was shite, wasn't it? Pulling a star pound stretcher on Barhead. <clears throat> this is one of those ones, and I see when I first saw it when I was looking at all these and I was looking at old logos, and I saw the original logo of this one, I was like, oh, what is that? Don't know. And, and I was like, and I remember, then, I, then I'd start, I could hear my mum saying it. I can hear my mum saying this. Um, it was Focus, but it was also called Focus Do It All. Do It All. I remember Do It All. It was like Do It All was like B and Q. It was like the big, um, the big like rival to B and Q, and it was owned by like MFI and Great Mills. Great Mills. Um, but I Focus Do It All. I gave you if you put Focus. I gave you put Do It All. I also gave you to put Focus Do It All. That's how good a guy I am. Uh, but still, only 38, he's got that right. Uh, uh, there was one of these at the, the Phoenix Stevie, but that was just a focus. I don't know if it was ever a focus do it all. Jenny was telling my story earlier about how she bought a bath for there once. 
Uh, but anyway, let's see those final scores. Good game tonight. No, that MDK cares. Doesn't make any difference what fucking position you're in. Third place, nobody cares. 40 for reason quiz. Uh, second place, 27. He didn't win anything. Ha ha, ha ha. You're in second place, you win nothing. First place, you still win absolutely nothing. One t shirt, nobody cares. So well done to those people. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, the Simpsons came in fourth and Drum Vegas came in fifth. Um, I'm now going to pick a number at random and we're going to see who wins the brownies because I'm going to give away a box of brownies. Um, the brownies can only be shipped to somebody in the UK so if you don't live in the UK, no luck. Um, so I'm going to do it between, I think we'll do it between 1 and 450. So we'll go between 1 and 450 because that's it's like the top four. There's 550 teams in. I'm not going to... I know well, because most of those people will probably have left by now, unless she's a really crap. But top 450, uh, and I'm just going to pick a number at random using the random number generator. Once I've once I've actually got the full list of everybody downloaded. Uh, don't forget, actually, that's a, a very good point there. I'm just going to pop that up there now. Loads of quizzes coming up this week. This Friday, name that 90s tune. Um... Snippets, all your favourite 90s absolute classics. That's tonight's quiz. Don't just ignore that one. We've just finished that. Just ignore that. Ignore that wee screen there. Uh, but then on Wednesday, uh, this, this is 90s week. On Wednesday, we have the 90s movie quiz. This Wednesday. Then on Saturday, we get the 90s game show quiz. Now, the 90s game show quiz, I've not 100% worked out exactly how it's going to work, but I'm basically stealing rounds for all your favourite 90s game shows. Um, so get involved in that. Uh, we'll have Wonky Donkey. We're going to have Blockbusters. We've got Family Fortunes. Um, aye, we've, we've got it all. We've got it all happening. It's all it's all going to kick off. It's all going to kick off. Um, it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. Right, so... Come on, you. 4.50. Right, so... Just so you can see the bomb. Um, I love how you can see my adverts of what I always look at. Because obviously that just goes to what I look at, so it's always shoes. So between one and four hundred and fifty, that's who's going to win this the brownies. And the winner is number one hundred and twenty-two. Number one hundred and twenty-two. So let's go and see who that is. Let's see who is number one hundred and twenty-two. Number one hundred and twenty-two is Wifey gonna win. Wifey gonna win. Wifey going to win, uh, and you are always there. You are regulars. Well done. Uh, I just need you to drop me a DM. Drop me a DM. Uh, we'll sort you out with your brownies. Uh, we are going to buy the brownies from Social Bite. Uh, go and join the, the Staying In community page on Facebook. Uh, the link to the, the brownie place for buying them uh, is there. Uh, for every box of brownies you buy, you'll help somebody who's suffering and struggling with homelessness. Uh, so go do that. Uh, thanks to Amy Bartley for sticking that in there. But yes, Wifey going to win. Well done. You have won tonight's prize. Give us a DM, give us your address, we'll get them sent off. We'll see you on Wednesday for the 90s movies quiz. Friday, we'll name that 90s tune. And then Saturday night, 9 o'clock, we have got the 90s TV game show where we're going to be doing Family Fortunes, Blockbusters, Through the Keyhole, The Generation Game, Wonky Donkey, anything else that I can think of and somehow shoehorn into a quiz that'll make it work and it'll be good. 